All right, hired goons. So hopefully this is working and everybody can hear me. Uh, I certainly hope so. Yep, it sure sounds like it. All right, so here's how it's going to work. Going to mute that one. All right. So what we're going to do is I have got a big spreadsheet. We're going to start with the special group first. We're going to move to the attack group, and finally, we're going to go to the fighter group. We end up expanding it a little bit. Instead of uh, 13 and 12 uh, categories, I opened it up to 19 from the special group, 18 from the attack group, and 18 from the fighter group. Uh, the way this is going to work, I'm going to have random.org pick us four integers. That will be what is available in procurement in each category. So we'll get four from special, four from attack, and four from fighter. Uh, because we've decided not to keep the eagles, that gets you a discard. So if you don't want the, you know, MiG-15, you can discard that. We'll draw one more random number, and maybe you'll get something a uh, little more useful. And make sure I got this right. I will go through one at a time. And we'll pull up the Commando database since Belugan's website is just a terrible turd. But uh, for the time being, this will be the special group. We've got 19 different entries ranging from drones to some specialty aircraft, a radar, some artillery, and some ground troops. So, uh... Let's see where we're at. All right, number 16 is the Belarus Voluntary Mechanized Company. So for 15 million, actually don't worry about the dollar amounts. We're not gonna get into that just yet. That's more for my own comparison. What I tried to do is make it so that every asset was roughly the price the same as any other asset. But first, Make sure to write this down so after everybody asks me questions, I don't lose it all. So we have 16, 14, 4, and 5. So number 16 gets us number... Oh, we got to go to T72. Let me see. Number 205. And that's what we get. We get a platoon of T-72s available for purchase. Not saying that we have to. And then we also are going to get some, to go with them, some BMPs. Everybody loves BMPs. BMPs are everywhere. I mean, everybody in this world loves BMPs. So why wouldn't you love a BMP? All right. That's pretty chill. It's useful. I think that uh, that's something that we can work with. Next, number 14. Number 14 gets us number 18. 1814. You get AAA battery, 100 millimeter KS19. You get a lot of them. You're going to get 10 of these babies. That is 40 AAA batteries. Not that they'll hit anything, but they'll be shooting. That's a lot of AAA. I mean, you guys know what this stuff's like. You stick it somewhere, you can really wreck somebody's day. Yeah, well, if they hit something, they'll wreck it. I agree. The, I think I was just reading a thing about uh, at the start of Desert Storm, there was like 4,000 AAA batteries in Baghdad. All right, go to the next one. Number four. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. Let me... Uh... <sighs> nope, not a sea wolf. No, I got the wrong one. Hold on. Oh, wouldn't you guys just love that? No, you get the opportunity to buy a 3D printed Argentinian made S41 attack submarine boat lobby goes mad i know i know right you just get one 
That's it. So yeah, it is um, 1985 vintage, 26 on the crew, 66 meters long. This thing's pretty good size. Max speed, 25 knots uh, for an attack sub. I mean, depending what we're going up against, not bad. Uh, let's see. It has some surface radar. Ooh, it has a decent uh, electronic intelligence package. We've got some sonar. Uh, it'll shoot a torpedo. And it also has an anti-ship torpedo. So, uh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, there's actually good stuff on the, this list, I'm telling you guys. This, this isn't just like the crap. Okay. Um, number five happens to be another boat. Yeah. It happens to be a Argentinian patrol gunboat, which comes with, um, some torpedoes and some guns and some radar. I can feel your eyes burning into me right now. Yeah, um, yeah, you're going to fuck up something with this thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, and you don't have to pick anything. I mean, you can say, I really am not interested in any of these, and you don't have to spend your uh, your votes on this. I mean, you can, we'll totally find something really awesome in one of the other categories. So, uh yeah, that that didn't go quite as I guess maybe that was the the bad role that you guys get. There's some cool stuff in this list. I'm gonna save it because I mean there's some really neat stuff here. A couple of I mean, yeah, just just take my word for it. There was there's some cool stuff there. It's not this time, but there'll be more procurements. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you guys do have a discard, but you might want to spend it on something else. I mean, you kind of know support assets, what what you might use, what you might want. The boat lobby, I mean, this isn't... I didn't want to throw, like, a very huge, really useless boat, because I know the boat lobby is going to just be all over it. So I got a little boat that's potentially useful, but not terribly useful. So, you know, boat lobby can get thrown a bone, but... Uh, all right, we're going we're gonna to move on to... Uh, we're going to move on to the attack group. We have 18 aircraft in the attack group. We're going to get our numbers again between 1 and 18. We're going to get four integers. And we have got, start with number 14. Okay. All right. Number 14 is 18, 17. A 1995 Circa model F5 Freedom Fighter from Venezuela, which includes a pair of engines, not just one, but two, handy these days, an AIM-9P Sidewinder, 500-pound laser-designated guided projectile, a 50 U.S. gallon drop tank. That's not much. Uh, you've got some uh, cluster bombs. War Crime Lobby will be happy, and some rockets. These are like a slightly faster version of the SK-60s. I mean, that, that's that's functional. I mean, we, we can work with this. That, that's not bad. 14, 3, 17, and 8. All right, now let's see what number 3 is. Oh, ooh, yeah. You guys are going to like this. You're going to like this. Oh, yeah. An SU-22 4K fitter. 1985 vintage from Poland. Oh, yeah. yeah let, let's see what we got here. We've got a um, some defensive ECM. They were using these until 2016. So max speed, 920 knots. you got a laser designator built right in. You've got uh, some aphids. You've got a Karen drop tank quite a bit of bombs cluster bombs you've got a, a variety of rockets a kedge was it the kedge that completely and totally wrecked uh, whatever it hit there is a kyle but as you know the range is a rather long for what we're legally able to use so let's uh 
Yeah, what's the warhead on this thing? Where is it? I mean, it weighs 660 kilograms, so it's got to be wrecking something. So there, you've got a... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it could have been a straight-up turd factory, like the boat. It can't all be winners, right? All right, we're going to go to the next one. Number 17. Oh, this one you guys will like as well. 1621. An SU-17 Fitter B. Yeah. 920 knots. Um, this thing's like straight up, just get out there and wreck them. But you have got uh, bombs, more cluster bombs, rockets, more cluster bombs. You got penetrator cluster bombs. We've got napalm cluster bombs. We got big rockets. We got little rockets. We got big bombs. We got little bombs. Uh, the tactical nuclear nuclear weapons are not included. Um, so yeah, I mean that's probably a lot of them. Okay, now we'll go to the last one, number eight. And number eight. <laughs> okay, so you guys have probably been going. This is terrible. Like, you, this is just a complete and utter pile of shit. Like, Huber, this is like the absolute worst aircraft that we can get. I threw a couple of real gems in here because you have roughly a 6% chance to get something good. Five and a half, whatever. So everywhere in all of these categories, there's something that's really good. There's something that's really unique and cool. And this is it. You guys literally got lucky. I'm going to hit this button and everybody is going to be happy because it's a hypothetical. That's right. It's an F-16XL, Enhanced Tactical Fighter. So, never existed in the real world. So this chance for the, uh, you know, the people in the world to kind of take their research dollars and actually make a profit on it. So we have got a defensive ECM. You've got a uh, decent radar. You've got AIM-9M sidewinders. Bomblets, cluster bombs, cluster bombs, cluster bombs. Looks like we have bomblets and mines. Ah, the war crimes lobby going to be all over this thing. We have more bomblets. We've got some uh, Mark 82s. Oh, look at that. Mark 84s. we got a pair of Mavericks. So yeah, you guys have a hypothetical here. I mean, it's it's not amazing, but uh, that was the one winner from this category. So you guys got lucky in that regard. This thing's pretty cool. But the big one, the fighters. Now, there's some winners in the fighters, too. There's also some real turds. So, I mean, I'm not, not going to just shit you guys here. We could totally roll snake eyes, you know, four times in a row. All right, again, we have 18 choices, ranging from some pretty good stuff to uh, makes the boat look good. All right, here we go. Get the numbers. We have number one. Four and eight. All right, well, didn't quite go as high as I'd hoped, but you guys get some discards here, and this might be a good place where you can use the discard. We have number 3549. I'll post all this in thread later, too, along with the quantities. So, you have a Bahrainian. Sounds good to me. F-16DG Block 40 Falcon, 1991 vintage. AIM-7M does not come with it. That's not legal. AIM-9P Sidewinder, Sensor Pod. Got some Paveways, Maverick, Bombs. More Mavericks, Hydra Rockets, not bad. It's a solid choice. Yeah, it is the XL, but boring, you're right. But, I mean, you don't know. I mean, there's good stuff, there's bad stuff. All right, next up, we have number seven. 26. We have a Mirage F.1 CE, 1987, Spanish. All right, uh, we got some Sidewinders, got some Bombs, got a Durandal. Everybody loves a Durandal. Another anti-runway bomb and some rockets. This thing's pretty chill. 
Now, as far as value goes, not all of these come with the same amount of aircraft. So while you may get four F-16s, you might get eight of these things. So we kind of have to weigh that a little bit. There'll be more of that when we come to it. Does it get six Durandals? That's crazy. A Durandal is a pretty cool weapon. All right. So that was number seven. Now we go to number four. All right, remember I talked about something in the shit heap? Well, this is something in the shit heap. Number 82. Number 82 is Fish Bed, 1988 vintage. Um, pretty basic. You got a PL5B, 18 kilometers. You got some bombs. You got some rockets. I have a feeling it's going to come with a lot of them. You're going to get a lot of these things. Yeah, I know. This thing's kind of crappy. I totally agree with you there. But it's cheap. Get a lot of people in them. Which brings us to number eight. Oh, this one you guys might like as well. 1244. A Mirage. French Mirage, 2000C, 1986. We've got some defensive ECM, radar, and a magic. The interesting part is the 40.7 kilometer missile that happens to come with it is right on the threshold of what's legal. So this one is a way that we can skirt the line and potentially get a little bit of range. Might not be the best fighter out there, but might have a range advantage. So, got that going for us. Not saying that it's useful, not saying that it's good, not saying anybody will vote for it, but you do have a 1981 vintage, rather long-range weapon. I actually looked up what is considered to be that, and I found some different numbers from 37 kilometers to 40 kilometers to 45 kilometers. So, I don't know how they decide what is beyond visual range. Got me, but... Whatever. It's right on the line. All right. Um, I guess if anybody has any questions, now would be the uh, the time to fire in with them. Uh, the Mirage... Probe refueling. It's the nice part with Belugan is I could actually look that up. I don't think I could see it here. But either way, gives you guys a good idea what's going on. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, Belugan's is just a little too flaky for me lately. Yep, so you guys got some, uh, some choices. I'll throw a little bit more, and uh, the way it's going to work is you're going to get three votes. If you really, really think we should get Mirage 2000 Cs, you can spend all three votes on one category. Now, you can spend two in one, one on the other, however you like. So at the end of it, we'll see. I mean, you can spread them around if you want one vote here, one vote there. But uh, that'll be up to you guys. So I'm going to throw all of these into the thread. I'm going to throw uh, links to the Commando database. Let you guys get an idea, and if we have any lobbies that decide that they want to uh, push for one category or the other, we'll just work for it. And we'll go from there. But uh, I plan on keeping it short, so we are going to keep it short. And at that, hired goons, back to you. And uh, hopefully it will be a smaller, leaner, more uh, interesting, not quite so big and crazy mercenary operation. So, here we go. Thanks, guys.